So anyway, I, I think I've answered that question as well as well as I can. Let me just scroll down a little bit further and see what else I can find here. Were Dennis and John as hard drinking and living in real life as the characters they played in the show? That's Kev Bryan. That's uh, that's somebody I know. Kev Bryan trains dogs, and I train dogs too. But anyway, you don't really need to know about that because I think I think probably most of the people who are watching this are Sweeney fans. I don't know, but um, anyhow, uh, Kev, were they as hard drinking and living in real life as the characters they played in the show? And I, how can I say this without I? Yes, it's, yes is the answer. We had the most. I had look. I love beer. In fact, I'm going to have a sip of it now because my throat's a little bit dry. Excuse me. I won't be a moment. Mm. But Dennis and John, let me tell you a little bit about them because there's nothing I can't think of anything about either of them that I could possibly even begin for a moment to be critical about. The first time I met them, the first um, episode uh, that I was in, uh, we, we were recording it at Collet Court. This wasn't the film. This wasn't the film, Sweeney 2. This was a, a television episode in which actually I wasn't, at that point, I wasn't playing Detective Constable Jellyneck. I was playing another copper, um, uh, and I think, his, I think he was just called Taffy. Anyway, the first day we, we were we were filming in Collet Court, where they had the the studio uh, set up, which was the inside of the police station, and lunchtime came. Now it's very very easy. I've been an actor in a lot of people's, um, you know, a guest actor in a lot of people's series where they're the regulars and I'm a, a guest actor who comes in for one or two episodes or whatever it should be, and. I'm not suggesting for a moment that people ever do this deliberately, but sometimes because the regulars in uh, in a particular series know each other so well and are so completely confident with what they're doing, when a newcomer comes into the series and is only there for a relatively short period of time, they kind of forget that that newcomer doesn't feel at ease in the same way that they do. So it's very easy, without deliberately doing it to kind of belittle you or to make you feel like an outsider, it's very easy to for people just to sort of ignore you. But that didn't happen. I'll, I'll tell you exactly. On the first day um, that I was working with them, lunch break came and Dennis came up to me and John was just, they were both together. John was standing just behind him and Dennis came up to me and he said, James, we're going down to have um, uh, lunch now. Uh, we've got a driver. They're driving us down. There was a pub in Hammersmith. I can't remember the name of it. There was a pub in Hammersmith and we're going down there. That's where we have our lunch. Would you like to come with us? I said, I'd love to. I mean, you don't need to twist my arm uh, very hard to persuade me that it's a good idea to go out for a beer. So we did. And the, the the thing was, too, and this is quite authentic, and things have changed enormously now in the police force, but the police force in those days, I mean, we're going back to the late 1970s, was it had a really quite heavy kind of drinking culture. That's changed now, I know. I mean, my brother-in-law, uh, Ken Bishop, was a, a, a policeman in the Sussex Constabulary for 30 years before he retired. And he tells me, you know, exactly the same thing. That if you had a successful um, outcome to a particular investigation, the chances were that at the end of it, you'd go to the pub and you'd have a serious knees up and a lot of beer would be drunk. And it was just, it was part of the, it was part of the culture of the day. And Dennis and John and me, we all joined in on it and had a really good time. There's, there's also. Um, Actually, this leads on because this was in this very pub, the pub that they took me to, which was wonderful because they immediately they made me feel that I was part of the team. Even though this was just my first day on the job, I'd only just turned up. They didn't allow me for a moment to feel that I was an outsider. It's, come on, we're going down the pub. Let's go together. So that was good. But at, on another occasion in that very same pub, and it was probably during the same episode, um... Anybody who ever knew Dennis and John, uh, and Dennis in particular, was, um, you know, as Sergeant Carter, 
you know, he was capable of being, you know, quite a hard man. And then everybody knows, too, that after the Sweeney had finished and he was playing in uh, in Minder, you know, he was, uh, you know, he, he played the character of a tough geezer. But in fact, he was actually a really, really nice, gentle, good-spirited, wonderful company, excellent person to be with, and the last thing on earth that he went round doing was looking for fights. But in that very same pub that I was trying to uh, tell you about, where they'd invited me to on the first day of filming, um, I remember on one particular occasion, it was Dennis's round, and but we were buying, I don't know, between us we were buying about five or six pints. So I went up to the bar with him, and I was standing just behind him. He put in the order... And while he was putting in the order, he was then turning, passing the glasses to me. I'd take them back to the table, and just to our right, a couple of, you know, people a little bit further down the bar, there was this bloke. God, he must have had a chip on his shoulder and felt very insecure, really, because he said in a you know, quite a loud voice, and, you know, he was a you know, London bloke, and he was talking like that, and he obviously thought he was a fucking hard man, you know, bit of a hard case, bent nose. And he was talking to his uh, to his friend, and he said, uh, "Yeah," he said, pointing at Dennis, who was a a couple of feet further up the bar. He said, "He's only as hard as a kick in the bollocks," and actually, that's probably true, because the last thing Dennis wanted was to be having punch ups in pubs. And this stupid, silly, provocative half wit was deliberately trying to wind him up and show how tough he was. You know, like, I'm really tough, and he isn't. Uh, they were smashing. John and Dennis, I would go to the ends of the earth for them. Good, good people, and um, excellent company. And, of course, I don't need to tell any of you, really good actors, too. That that goes without saying. I'll have another little look down my um, list of questions here and see if anything else has turned up. Let's have a look. Was it real beer, somebody says in the pub? Oh, that's my friend Dave Marchant. He says, was it real beer in the pub scenes? Uh, if so, it would explain a lot. Oi, sod off, Dave. Uh, yes, it was real beer, and uh, that's enough of that nonsense. I'll move on. <laughs> 